video will explain how to solve a simple Bayes theorem problem using R. Now, with a simple Bayes theorem problem, we have two events. In this case, I'm going to call them D and L. We're given the probability of D, and we're given the conditional probabilities of L given D, and the probability of L given D complement. We would like to determine the probability of D given L. Note that if you, defer, if you have the probability of D given L, we also have the probability of D complement given L, because it's just 1 minus the probability of D given L. By the definition of conditional probability, the probability of D given L is the probability of D and L divided by the probability of L. Thus, we're going to need the probability of L in order to do our computations. But by the law of total probability, the probability of L is the probability of L and D plus the probability of L and D complement. But now, by the multiplication pr principle of conditional probability, the probability of L and D is that just the probability of L given D times the probability of D. We have those two numbers plus the probability of L given D complement times the probability of D complement. And we're given those that information also. Bayes' theorem, which is the object of this uh, video, then just says the probability of D given L is the probability of D and L, which is the same as the probability of L and D, which we've just calculated, divided by the probability of L, which we've just calculated. Let's see how this works for a real problem. Okay. Texting while driving is dangerous. It is estimated that 15% of drivers text regularly while driving. That means 85% do not text regularly while driving. A driver who texts regularly has a 1 in 200 chance of causing an accident in any month. A driver who does not text regularly has a 1 in 2,500 chance of causing an accident in any month. Suppose a driver causes an accident. Two questions. What's the probability that, that that driver texts regularly? And B, what's the probability that the driver doesn't text regularly? Notice the answer to B is just going to be 1 minus the answer to A. So we're really just looking for A. How can we do this? Well, if you look at the Bayes' theorem model that we uh, entered before, let D be the event that the driver texts regularly. Let L be the event that the driver causes an accident. What are we given? We're given the probability of D is 0.15. 15% of all drivers text regularly. Therefore, the probability of D complement, not texting regularly, is 1 minus 0.15 or 0.85. We were able to calculate that just by the rule of complements. What were we given? We are given the probability of L given D is 1 in 200, and the probability of L given D complement is 1 in 2,500. We may or may not need this, but these two match. Probably of L given D is 1 in 200, so the probability of L complement given D is 1 minus 1 in 200. Probably of L given D complement is 1 over 2,500, so the probability of L complement given D complement is 1 minus 1 over 2,500. We want the probability of D given L. This is just the probability of D and L divided by the probability of L. Let's see how to do this. Well, in order to actually do this, I'm going to have to give some numbers, uh, some variable names to our numbers. Now, because of the nature of R's interface, I can't use special characters or special symbols as part of variable names. So here's what I've done. Probability of D is 0.15. Now what I do here, instead of saying D complement, I use N for not D. So the probability of not D is going to be just 1 minus the probability of D. Let me just write it down. 
That's going to be 0.85. Now, what were we given? We were given that the probability of L given D. Notice I'm using the G here. That's because I can't use the vertical bar for given. R doesn't allow it. It's a special character. So this says the probability of L given D is 1 in 200th. The probability of not L given D is 1 minus the probability of L given D, or 1 minus 1 over 200. The probability of L given not D, that's probably of L given D complement, is just 1 over 2,500. The probability of not L given D is 1 minus that. 1 minus probably of L given not D. Um, let me define these variables in R. Okay, now, what do we have? If you'll remember the Bayes' theorem formula from before, the probability of L is just the probability of L given D times the probability of D plus the probability of L given D complement times the probability of D complement. Notice what I've done here. The probability of L is the probability of L given D times the probability of D plus the probability of L given not D times the probability of not D. And let me just display it. I get 0 0.00109. Now, here's our Bayes' theorem part. The probability of D given L is the probability of L and D divided by the probability of L. We've just calculated the probability of L up here, 0 0.00109. But the probability of D of L and D, we've actually calculated it right up here. So we're going to put that in as part of the formula. And there is our conditional probability. Basically, what this is saying is that given that there was an accident, given that um, we've caused an accident, 68% um, of those accidents are going to be caused by people who text regularly. That's the probability of D, texting regularly, given that you caused an accident. Um, for the second piece, probability of not D given L is just the complement of this. And that's how we could solve a Bayes' theorem problem using R.